Hi everybody, it's Kelly from Let's Get Clacking and in today's video we're going to go over something that I use all the time in Silhouette Studio. It is probably one of my favorite features and that is point editing. Very often we hear issues of people where maybe their design isn't cutting very nicely or they find that the design is too heavy in Silhouette Studio and Silhouette Studio lags quite a bit. Very often I find that's either because there are too many things in Silhouette Studio so it kind of struggles to work with it or that you've traced a picture and that there are millions of little points on the design. Now, there are a couple of different things that we can go over with point editing, a couple of tips and tricks that I've picked up over the past, and even maybe how to help create your own types of design. If you find this video useful, I'd appreciate it if you were to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment to let me know what you struggle the most with when it comes to Silhouette Studio. Well, let's get clacking. So if we want to understand point editing, we need to understand what it is and how it works. So let's take a square. Now, if we double click on the design, we can see that it has four little gray boxes. These are the points. And these points are essentially showing Silhouette Studio where the design starts moving. So in order to view these points, you can do one of two things. You can either double click the design or you can click the design and click on the little point button over here. It kind of looks like an upside down seagull that you would normally see in paintings. Um, so you can click on edit points. I prefer double clicking the design because then it brings up the point editing panel on the side. So then you can see all of the other options available for point editing. So you can click on a point and then a lot of these options become ungrayed out. As an example, delete point, self-explanatory. If you delete it, it'll then change it into a triangle because what Silhouette Studio does is it'll take the point from the last point and the direct line to the next point. We can also break the path and you'll see how that point that was gray is now red. Now what that means is when you pull it apart you can actually see how it's essentially created a hole in the line. So you can then snap them back together if you want to close the path again or you can leave it like this and then you'll see it will not have an end. So we can double click on the points and let's bring them back together and then the next option is corner. So the only thing that the corner interaction does is it changes how the curves interact with it. So as an example, this one is a smooth line. So if I select make a curve, you see how it curves out that line. What these lines do, they're essentially showing you how the line is being pulled. So as an example, we've got this one that is being pulled, so it's pulling this line in that direction, right? So if we have to pull it up further, you can see it changes the gradient. But what it's also doing is it's pulling that other line down. So it's trying to keep it in the same directionality that you have it. If you make it a corner, you can actually change the other side. So if you wanted this one to be like that and you wanted to change this line independently, you can then move them independently from each other. But if it were a smooth line, they affect each other. So that's the only difference between corner and smooth. They obviously each have their uses depending on what you're going to be using them for. Obviously you can see now they're all grayed out because I don't have any points selected. So I select a point again, I can then start playing around with it. So when it comes to basic shapes like this, there aren't very many options that we can do. If you wanted to add another point, you just find somewhere on the line, you click on it. Maybe you want to add a little an up arrow on that side, so you can add extra points there. It's very, very easy to do, as you can see. And then if you want to delete the point, you can delete it. Um, if you want to do an up arrow like that, then you want to break the path, you want to connect it with something else, you know, those are the kind of options that you have there. So when it comes to other more complex designs, that's where we start using the simplify feature. The simplify won't work here because this is a very simple design as it is. I'm going to show you from a design that I've made. So I'm just dragging this design into Silhouette Studio. And you can obviously see that I'm, I've got my studio set on basic edition so that all of these features do work on basic edition. And you don't need designer, designer plus, etc. to work on this kind of, a, of an image. You can see here when I double click this design that there are lots of little points. So we don't actually need all of these little points. So you can do one of two things. You can either leave it like this, but obviously bearing in mind that the more points you have, the more heavy the file becomes in terms of data and also the slower silhouette becomes to process the file. So if I had to copy, you know, six or seven of these pictures, everything would take a lot longer to render within Silhouette Studio because they are very heavy pictures. I've actually drawn this myself in um, Procreate. Maybe for this design, I just want to cut this out of vinyl. So what we can do is then we trace it 
Okay, we've got the threshold up quite high. Let's trace the image. I can then delete the original image and I'm just left with the trace cut lines. So when you double click on the cut lines, you can see that there are still lots of points. There are fewer points, but there are still lots of points. A lot of them are unnecessary. So if we click simplify, you'll see how the majority of them disappear because essentially Silhouette is recognizing that it doesn't need three points right next to each other for a single line. All it needs is, you know, maybe one point with a curved edge. And that's exactly what it's done here. So it's recognized that there are more optimal ways to reach that curvature of the line and it has decreased the number of points. You can then simplify it again. I find myself sometimes clicking on this a number of times to reach the kind of threshold that I like, bearing in mind that each time you simplify it you're potentially losing a little bit of detail. So that could be a little bit problematic if it comes to an actual image that you're doing, like a picture that you're trying to trace and cut, but when it comes to this kinds of thing if you just want it as a, a flat color, like if we just make it you know a nice light green or something like that, you don't even notice the difference between this and the original. And then one of the things that we also notice here is you see there's a red dot. Now what that red dot means, as you may have seen from, you know, right in the beginning, that is a point that is not closed. So what we can do, if you want to, you know, zoom right in, let's just take a little bit of a look there. We can see that that is just two points randomly in the middle of nowhere. Obviously I've just dragged it out now to make it a little bit bigger, but those are two points that aren't connected to anything. So you can actually just delete it. It means that you're going to have a cut line there, you're going to have a tiny little mark, and there's no point because there's nothing there's nothing there. There was also another point here, so if you want to delete that you can just delete that point. And then of course you can go on and modify your design a little bit. As an example, if you know that you want to, this is the perfect example, perfect example. So this point here, let's say I don't want this point to be like that. Maybe I want it to be a lot sharper because the edge of the leaf is a little bit sharp. So I can then go in here, I can maybe pull that back a little bit and I can even extend that line there and start playing with my design a little bit. Now obviously that looks awful, so let's try and play with this, extend this one a little bit more. Let's make it a corner so that they are independent from each other. Let's change that one, let's make that one a corner as well and we can smooth it out a little bit, maybe bring that one up, bring that one back, you know, and then we can actually start to modify our images within Silhouette Studio. So it really shows that you are able to be completely flexible in Silhouette Studio and you can change the designs to how you want them to be, which is really great. And as an example, like we can see there that looks still a little bit too, you know, blocky. So let's extend these points here. Let's bring or let's make them a little bit shorter. Bring that one back a little bit. And then we can see we've actually rounded out that corner. So we've completely redesigned that that section and it looks a lot better now. You can obviously do the same for, you know, all of the other points if you're not happy with them. What you can also do is if you have an, ex an entire section of the design that you want to remove, you can hold down shift and highlight all of the points that you want to delete, and then you can simply just delete them. If you want to highlight a few points at the same time, you can just delete them all at once. So let's say I want to delete those as well. There we go. So now maybe that section was, you know, part of the leaf that's been cut off. That's another another option that we can do. And like I mentioned, this is something that I use in just about every single project that I work on in Silhouette Studio, and I would probably be completely lost without point editing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you watching all the way through, and I really hope that you learned something today. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel on this side. On that side, YouTube will show you my latest video and just below it, something that they know that you'll enjoy. I hope to see you all next time. And remember, be kind to someone today. Cheerio.